here for a while now. <laughs> Colorado has four national parks. We have been to Rocky Mountain National Park, the Black Canyon of the Gunnison, Mesa Verde National Park. We are finally here at the Great Sand Dunes National Park. I'm sharing our complete one day guide to seeing all the best things in and around the Great Sand Dunes National Park. We're hiking the dunes, exploring a waterfall, relaxing in some adult only hot springs, and indulging in some local dining nearby. <laughs> wondering why the heck we're just walking through a bunch of water. Well, it is the middle of May and all the snow from the mountains are starting to melt. And that causes a river to go through the Great Sand Dunes here. And in order to get to the dunes, which are right here, you have to cross the river. And there's no bridge, so you literally have to walk through the river <laughs> to get over to the dunes. Because this is like alpine waters, a little chilly on the feet, just a little, little chilly. <laughs> but we got it. So this is our 28th National Park. We have, of course, a lot more to go, but we're getting there, 28. We're pretty excited about it. <laughs> so we are gonna hike the dunes today. And one thing I can tell you from just standing right here at the base of these dunes, I cannot believe how tall they are. They are enormous. They are the highest dunes in the USA, some of the highest probably in the world. And we were actually just in New Mexico at the White Sands National Park. And looking at these dunes compared to White Sands, wow, the White Sands are itty bitty compared to the Great Sands. We got the mountains back here as a backdrop. Oh, it's gonna be a good day. And it's beautiful May bluebird sky right here, you guys. Bluebird sky of Colorado. <laughs> but anyways, let's go hike some sand dunes. <laughs> The highest dune in the park is called Star Dune, with the summit just being under 9,000 feet. You can hike to Star Dune, but it's a long six mile hike in sand. The most popular hike here is to High Dune with a three mile round trip hike. We decided we were just going to go with the flow and hike the dunes until we didn't want to hike anymore. So today we are wearing our flip flops because we're hiking in sand and I don't want our shoes to be full of sand. And this is super nice and sandy. And we had to cross a river, so again, Glad I didn't wear regular shoes. <laughs> like halfway on this hike. This is a workout. This sand is so soft. We're just doing it all barefoot. The nice thing about hiking these right now in May is the sand is still cool. It's not cold, it's just like the perfect temperature. Um, because in the summer months, middle of summer, the sand gets too hot to walk on. So you definitely would have to wear shoes or something. Spring and fall is a great time to visit here. believe the depth of these dunes. They're so deep and duny. <laughs> I can call it that, right? We're at the dunes. <laughs> but this is blowing our mind. And these beautiful mountains back here as a backdrop. <sighs> so we have hiked about 1.2 miles up the dunes. We kind of followed like the high dunes trail. We really didn't have any like set hikes we wanted to do on here, but if we wanted to hike more, we could go even higher, but we're good, we're happy. <laughs> we're happy right here, so we're gonna stop here and enjoy these views because they are gorgeous. And then make our way back down. I finally did all four national parks in Colorado. Yeah! Woo! Okay, so 
now we're done hiking the dunes. Now we're on the oh, <laughs> wow. we're on the Ooh, shook her up. <laughs> <laughs> we're on the primitive road here in the dunes, and we're trying to find like a spot where we could like have lunch, just like pull off and like make our own little lunch spot. Um, but I don't know. We'll see if there's anything. Um, so right now we're um, driving wow. in sand. <laughs> This is our lunch spot off the primitive road at the dunes. So we got a little little view of the dunes over there. But it is time to eat. We are absolutely starving. All right, what are we cooking? Not cooking anything. <laughs> Not cooking, no. Sandwiching, what a surprise. That's like our go-to. Great sand dunes sandwich. Woohoo! Cheers. All right, this was a nice little lunch break. Now we are going to get ready and go hike a waterfall. So this is not in the Great Sand Dunes National Park, but it's literally right on the edge of it. It's Zapata Falls. It's only like a less than a mile hike round trip. So we're going to go check it out. It's a really popular thing to do here while you're in the Great Sand Dunes um, since it's in the vicinity of the dunes. We're leaving the park. We literally just passed the entrance station. Look at this line of cars. And it was like this when we were coming off the dunes. We could see this line that far out. Wow. I'm so glad we got here early. We made it to the trailhead. Four miles on a washboard gravel road up here, but it'll be worth it. The hiking trail to Zapata Falls is extremely rocky and it has a nice steady incline the entire way. You'll even get some glimpses of the great sand dunes in the distance. However, just be ready, you're going to be doing multiple stream crosses once you get closer to the waterfall. Some of the clearest water I've ever seen. Yeah. It's like white. Depending on the time of year you visit, be prepared for possible ice on the trail and a frozen waterfall. Today only half of the waterfall was frozen. Since this waterfall is in a narrow canyon, it doesn't receive a lot of sunlight to melt away all the winter snow and ice, so it could be a little icy. Oh my gosh, you guys, this Zapata Falls is so beautiful. The water is like crystal clear. It's like in a canyon. It was so loud. I couldn't really talk in there. So we just hiked the highest dunes in North America. We went and hiked to a waterfall, had an amazing lunch. It is almost 2.30. We are tired and ready to chill out. So we are at Sand Dunes Recreation, which is on like the opposite side of the sand dunes. They have hot springs here and they have an adults only area here called the greenhouse. So we're going to go check it out and see what it's all about because we're all about hot springs. <laughs> so let's go see what it's like. Entry into their main pool area was $15 per person and for entry into the greenhouse was another $5 per person. I felt like I was stepping into a tropical oasis. They have four different pools and a sauna that are surrounded by beautiful tropical plants and they have a large variety of beers and wine and a small plates menu. Although we didn't try any of the food, it looked so good from what we saw. It was such a relaxing and perfect experience after a full day of hiking. This may be one of our favorite Colorado hot springs yet. How much did we love the greenhouse? That was awesome. <laughs> no, just, just go here. It's 30 minutes on the other side of the entrance, like by the Great Sand Dunes National Park. And it was like a little tropical oasis. You could have drinks in the pool and the long skinny pool was the coolest pool. And then there was like other hot, hotter pools all around. So yeah, it was amazing. So go hike dunes, go hike to a waterfall and go relax. <laughs> in a hot spring you guys it's you gotta do it you just gotta do it <laughs> all right you guys so we're in alamosa colorado now which is just like right by the dunes in that whole area we're gonna go get some mexican for dinner so we are at calvino's mexican oh i'm so hungry i did a burrito it has steak shrimp and chicken in it and rice and beans and rice and beans and then vince got what did you get Enchiladas. Enchiladas. Shredded beef or uh, uh, ground beef enchiladas with eggs. That's so good.
highly recommend Calvillo's. I think it's how you say it. I think I said Calvino's before, so it's Calvillo's, I think. And if you know me, you know we're gonna be hitting up some ice cream. <laughs> so we found Frosty Acres ice cream here in Alamosa. So let's go get some ice cream. Oh my God, I'm so excited to try this. So I got a Picasso, which has like Snicker crumbles and chocolate and caramel and a whole bunch of good chocolatey stuff. <laughs> And then Vince got a cheeky, which is like Oreo, chocolate, all the things. I'm not 100% sure how it's all made or whatever, but the um, inspiration for these ice creams was from Thailand. They like spread the ice cream out on a pan and then they like turn it into like rolls and put a bunch of good stuff on top of it. Really cool thing they got going on here. All right, so let's give this a try. It's not ice cream, it's different. Yeah, it's like, it's like ice cream, but it's like different ice cream. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, how do you explain that? It's like soft, like. It's still cold. It's still cold. Put the heat on something to solidify the cream. Mmm. It's extremely good. Yeah. We've been to Thailand, but I don't ever remember seeing anything like this. So, this is really cool. Oh, and it's so good. Mmm. Mmm. Yep. Frosty Acres. Definitely stop here and get some of this. It's rolled ice cream is what it's called. Rolled ice cream. Like it's literally like rolled into little like tubes. rolls or tubes or cylinders <laughs> or whatever. And they just like put a bunch of little rolls all around the cup. I can't show you because they have whipped cream and all the good stuff on top. So you can't really see the rolls. But um, really cool. Really good. Oh my gosh. Mm. That is a wrap here on our day here by the Great Sand Dunes National Park here in Colorado. It was truly the best experience and we love it. We definitely will be back one day and we're just glad we finally made it. It was about time. So if you have any questions at all, definitely let me know down in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys.